Hi, I will present my master thesis project that is based on the analysis of BERT, a detector aboard the Bepi Colom mission. This mission has two main purposes. The first one is the study of Mercury, its composition and magnetosphere. It is the closest planet from the Sun, and for this reason, sending a mission to Mercury, it's also sending a mission to a place with a very difficult radiation environment. And the second purpose is the study of the environmental radiation on the solar system, a key parameter for space exploration, because the radiation can cause problems either on the instruments aboard and also on the people. This mission is a, a collaboration between JAXA and ESA, and is composed of two spacecrafts, the Mercury Magnetospheric Orbiter from JAXA, that has the objective of analyzing the Mercury Magnetosphere, and the Mercury Planetary Orbiter from ESA that has the objective of analyzing the composition of Mercury. And it is a spacecraft where BERM is installed. This mission will encounter four main types of radiation. The Earth radiation belt, a very well known environment composed of electrons and protons around the Earth. Knowing so much about this environment allows to use, the, to use it to characterize and calibrate the detectors aboard. This is an important step of the mission to assure that every analysis is correctly performed later on. Cosmic rays, there are an energetic background composed of protons and heavy ions with energy that goes up to 10 to the 21 electron volts. This particle ca can come from our galaxy or even from the outside. Solar energetic particles, there are electrons, protons and heavy ions accelerated in the outer regions of the Sun. This is an important radiation source in this mission because Bepi Coulomb will be very close to the Sun. It will be possible to analyze this event and the interaction between them and the Mercury magnetosphere. And the least one are the electron bursts. These are the least known of all these radiation sources. These are electrons trapped in the Mercury magnetosphere for short periods of time. But because this is only the third mission to Mercury, first from Europe, these events are not very well understood yet. However, their analysis is an important part of the mission. BERM is composed of 11 silicon detectors, interlaid by aluminium and tantalum, as a 40 degree angle of view, and it can detect electrons, protons, and heavy ions in a certain energy ranges. It is able to detect particle energy from the energy deposit in the detectors and their type, taking into account which was the detector where was deposited the maximum energy. The mission was launched in 2018 and has done one Earth flyby, two Venus flybys, and is now doing the six Mercury's flybys. It will enter Mercury's orbit in 2025. This is the last phase of the mission and is when the two spacecraft separate from each other, orbiting individually.